Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Today we are gonna do the q and A. <laughs> I try to make it as comfy as possible. I guess I'll go through some basic questions first. Uh, if you look at my other q and A, the one I have as a channel trailer, you'll probably see like, most of your questions there, but I'll just answer like the basic stuff right now. I get a lot of questions on my ethnicity and nationality. My ethnicity is Filipino. I'm Filipino. And as for my nationality, I'm a United States citizen. Did I say that word? United States citizen. First question is, how do you calm yourself? when you have stress. Stress is a very, it's like, it's a very natural thing, guys. Like, it's not something you should just like, get rid of because it is something that's already there. I learned to coincide with it. It's because I know it's gonna be there all the time, so I might as well, you know, be comfy with it. Even if I don't like it, there's some ways that I learned to just, you know, live with it. Once you've learned to coincide with it, I feel, it doesn't feel so bad. I remember, I can't remember, this is mainly during my high school years. <laughs> it was really bad. For the last two years, all I did was study. I went to the library during the morning and then for lunch. Just any free time I had, I went there to study. Guys, don't do that. I wish I lived my high school life in a more fun way. <laughs> but in some ways, I've learned to deal with stress. It's just, you know, doing the things I like. Music, especially music really, just every time I do something music related, it always makes me feel better. That's what I usually gravitate towards. Sometimes I bake or I go out on walks. Oh, especially like nature-wise, when I'm really stressed out, I like to go outside and just, just you know, sit outside, maybe bring out a book or listen to music outside. But that's like one of the most helpful remedies. My MBTI, I am ISFJ. When did you start baking? You know, okay, you remember the period of you two. This is a long time ago when there was like Palmer clay charms and stuff like that and like squishies and stuff. <laughs> this was back then. I was making clay charms of baked goods and stuff. My dad told me you should just make the real thing. I'm like what? And so I did. And that's how I started baking. It was like during middle school. First thing I remember making was the macaron and it did not look cute. I will probably put a picture somewhere here. I don't know if I will but it was so bad. <laughs> Siblings. So I have two siblings. There's Abigail and there's Buddy Boy. And Buddy Boy's real name is Voltaire but we don't call him that. I think his friends call him that. It's something my sister and I made up when we were kids. <laughs> I'm the oldest, Abigail is the second, and then Beiwei is the third. Yeah. Someone's asking how tall I am. I am 5'4", or no, no, no. But I am 5'4", or 163 centimeters. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm medium height. <laughs> what would you change about yourself if you could? Nothing. If it's like experience-wise, the experiences I had, I wouldn't want to change it either. Even if it was a bad experience, I'm so glad that I experienced it because I learned from it and I can apply it to later experiences. I don't know. I'm grateful for the bad experiences just so the experiences now are better almost. Does that make sense? It probably does not. Any tips on how to do tasks when you're feeling unmotivated? I don't usually listen to music when I'm studying, but sometimes I have to just so I can start studying. There's always times when I just don't feel like studying. <laughs> the thing I do to help that is put on some good music, just because when I have good music on, I actually want to do things. The song recommendations I have right now, I feel like I haven't done like my playlist in a long time. My playlists have been getting so short, I haven't had that much time to build up my playlist lately. It's so sad. One song I'm really liking lately is It's You My Heart Beats For by Grant Paris. Let's see. Spicy Soul Honey Flavor. Saucy dogs eat scum. At what age do you want to get married? I want to at least be married by my 20s. <laughs> that sounds so weird saying that. I kind of want to remove that. Always seem cheerful and then what you were doing. What kind of mindset do you try to have? There's a lot of questions about like being positive, how I stay positive. Honestly, of course there's times when I'm negative. It's like, I mean, that's just, you know, it's also another normal feeling. When I do feel negative, I just push it aside. Whoa, internal attempt to- For me, just- being negative, it, that doesn't get me anywhere. Being negative gets me nowhere. So if I'm negative, just putting me at a roadblock. But when I'm positive, I'm just, I'm going. My most embarrassing memory? I don't even know. Guys, I have a bad memory. My favorite instrument? Oh man. I honestly would not pick. It's like choosing your favorite kid or something. I guess the, the piano, just because it's the first one I played. Like I started piano when I was like five. I guess that's, I just have like a, an attachment to it, you know? I guess I would choose that one. Uh, I'm doing a lazy day. I just lay down, look out at the sky, and watch Netflix. I don't like those days. But when I do have days like that, I always feel so bad. Because I just like feeling productive. I like doing things. So I always feel bad when I'm laying around, but I know it's okay to lay around and just have those days. Am I single? Yeah. Did I grow up my bangs? I don't know. Whenever I take them away, I just, I do not look right. <laughs> I see people and they don't have bangs, so I'm like, ooh, I want to do that, but I just, it doesn't look right on me. <laughs> have I ever eaten Mexican food? Of course I have. I usually order a shrimp burrito or steak. What was my biggest dream? When I was a child, what was my, f 
Oh, the first job I remember I wanted to be as, or my career, was a veterinarian. And then after that, I wanted to be a pâtissière. I didn't have as many um, jobs that I wanted to be. Oh my gosh, I'm on low bat, no way. One life advice to your future self. Stay true to your values or something like that. <laughs> my ideal type? I don't know. It's like the gut feeling type of thing. When I meet a guy, I know when it'll be the right person, you know? I don't know. I don't like talking. It's so weird talking about stuff like that. What's the name of my haircut? This is just a layered haircut. I get a lot of questions on that. <laughs> it is another night, and as always, I don't have enough footage. If you guys didn't know, I shifted my major from nursing to something completely different. Someone's asking if nursing was scary or hard. It's not scary or hard, it's just that it wasn't what I wanted to do. So don't worry, it's not scary or hard, it's just that I, that wasn't the thing for me. What time do I usually sleep? I try to sleep around at least like 10, but the latest I'll sleep is 12. I don't like sleeping later than that. Dun, 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 dun. What is next? Do you speak Tagalog? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, uh. my accent's really bad. Mm, favorite Filipino food? I love Shopao. I love synagogue too. I haven't had synagogue in a long time though. There's someone saying how like waking up at five seems like a lot. I have a lot of waking up at five a.m. videos. Like I just realized that I like waking up early, so I don't mind. And I just the thing, I don't know. It's like I'm a very morning person. I love doing things in the morning. It just feels nicer. What is the most recent book you have read? I'll show you. I've been reading this one in the morning just so just like after I wake up I don't typically go on my phone. If I do it's just like watching like Netflix or something. But lately I've been reading this book. It's just a the tree of knowledge. It just talks about the beginning of like cognitive knowledge and like where it all started. I don't, I like these kind of books. I like books that are like informative. There's a lot of questions about what province I'm from. Oh, well, my family's from and we're from Pampanga. Why did I start doing vlogs? I think the main reason why I started to do vlogs is because I have a pretty bad memory. Whenever I went to places or whenever I did things, I just could not ever like recall or remember. It's kind of like a faint memory. And then when I started making videos about places I went to, I could remember them so easily. And also making videos is really satisfying. It's very fun. I love making videos. And knowing that it also helps other people too makes me really happy. So there's so many good things about making videos that I don't think I'll ever stop, you know? Hi. Is there anything else to answer? How much time do I spend on social media? I don't go on social media a lot. I'm just not much of a social media person, so. I don't go on there a lot. If you're wondering why I've been stuck behind this blanket like for half the video, because I'm not feeling that cute. So I'm just going to be hiding behind here. Do you have any experience with boys? Guys, I need to tell this one story. I don't know if I should tell it. I don't know. I feel like this is weird to say. It was last semester. I was in the library. And then I felt this, this thing hit my shoulder. And I turned around. There's a piece of paper. And then there's this guy trying to like, like sneakily try to pass it onto my desk, and then he like quickly walked away. You know, I looked at it, I had a general idea of what it could be, but I was also scared that it would be maybe like a hate letter or something, I don't know. But also at the same time, I was like, what was going on? This random person threw a note onto my desk. And I was like, okay, I'll finish up my work and then I'll look at it. I read it, I don't know what people call it, like a confession letter or something like that, a love letter. It gave like a Snapchat and stuff, but I didn't use Snapchat, so you know, I just threw it away. But that's what happened. Oh, well, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll have an outro because I filmed it yesterday. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. This little talk with me. Hopefully it wasn't too uh, rushed during the end. Actually, it was really rushed. I apologize for that. Maybe I'll add more. I was listening to the audio from the mic and it sounded really weird. A lot of like scratches almost. I'm not sure where it came from. It's just because the phone was really old. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next week. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. <laughs>